Hello, welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena. This is Chapter Magic, Episode 3. We're going to jump right back into it. We're uh, taking off from where we left off in the last episode. I didn't go any further. Of course, that's usually, or I should say always, how I choose to play it. I did make a mistake in one chapter and had to explain what happened because I was forgetting to record at one point. What's going on with everybody? Lairdog's a little bit injured, but everybody else is really ready to fight. And we can put them in the training ground, just in case the people who don't go, or just in case there are people who don't go out to fight, like in the case of this brown bear. Are we going to do the brown bear, or are we looking for something different? This is that level 15 fight, right? Yeah. Even though we have magic, you know, we don't have amazing gear. That's the thing. So, I'm thinking it's worth it to just... Be a little bit careful. Be considerate of what we're up against. This brown bear, though, for 32 silver? I mean, we may as well send our two magic people. Get out there and slice them up. Now, heavy armor wearers using magic? I, I just think that we're going to easily come out on top in, like, every fight. I'm sure magic scales well throughout the game. Certainly the dragon at the end of the Gordas Trials is uh, kind of a pain in the butt with all his magic. Oh, look at this, look at this. Really just destroying this bear with fire and ice. That's sick. You love to see it. Oh yeah, smoked him. Oh, gotta stop saying that. Gotta find a new... New thing to say. The fire magic clearly is coming up on top. I love to see that. Got some free heavy chest armor that's green quality. We can put that on, say, hair furlough, seeing as how he needed an upgrade anyways. We're not going to put any of this other garbage on anybody else. But we do want to go here, research how to... Oh, you're already researching. Okay. I was going to say research how to make a health potion. Everybody's doing well, and we could go fight again for some quick silver. Not here, unfortunately. But I think this is the opportunity we take to now go to the market. Sell off the garbage that's in our backpack and get some more heavy veteran gear. Look at all these people. We could, we could buy these people. Now, one thing I've been thinking about is when I see my own individuals in here, my own role library gladiators, if I change their stats to is magician in the role live.dat file, if I purchase them here, would they have magic enabled? That's something that I've been thinking about. Because then I could have a team with four magicians, you know, if I just purchased my own people back here at the market. Oops. All right, we're going to the weapon merchant, and we are selling off our garbage. Can I just... No, i got to double-click everything. Okay. okay. Do that real quick. No, not the, not the wood. Keep the wood for now. Who knows? We might end up uh, getting a blacksmith and crafting late game. I could get a blacksmith right now. That actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. Sell off the chameleon tongues and chameleon eyes for big money the lion hearts. Actually, we're keeping the lion hearts. I don't know why. That just seems like that could be pretty good. There's maybe something we can craft with that. That's my logic. Okay. And we're up to three gold. Let's get over to the Thieves Guild, check out if they got some heavy veteran gear or just a better two-handed weapon. Like a, like a two-handed staff, for instance. They got a claymore. Claymore would be very cool with either one of our magicians. Hmm, a gladi... Oh, yes, we love that. Another veteran heavy leg. We could put that on um, one of our other people. Our weaker people. I kind of just want that gladiator helmet, but I'll come back for that if we don't find anything at the third store. As well as, potentially, that Claymore.
but really I prefer a staff for my magic users just because that would seem a lot more appropriate. Oh, a, lot of, a lot of veteran heavy leg armor everywhere I go. We are going to get the belt while we can. Um, rare herbs? Nah. Let's go back to the Thieves Guild, get that helmet, and take that sword, I guess. No, we're not taking the sword. There's no reason to take that sword. I can't I can't really remember you know how to min max in this game. But it seems like that sword is not is not maybe it's not the best. Maybe it is. I just can't remember. Oh, I got to remember to check everybody's loyalty too. Gosh, obedience, I should say. He's got 10 obedience, so he's People are pretty happy with me, surprisingly. You are super beat down. I wish I had a potion to give you. Gosh. But we're going to have to send out just one individual to fight. Hair furlough. And because he's doing the most damage, he gets the fancy belt and the fancy helmet. They will feel my fury. They will feel my fury, I hear you. And that turn. Oh yes, finally the black market missions are available. Totally forgot about these even. Could I send out my team? Lair Dog is injured, but he can still go out right now. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be fine. Oh, yes, and we got a large healing potion. Get out of here. We don't like you. That would have been cool to fight. This one would have been a good fight, too, for 39 silver. Although I think the caravan will be similar in its monetary reward. Both magic guys on this side. Ooh, man. Just brutalizing the enemy. Oh, yeah, hit him with a fireball. Light, light that guy on fire. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy, isn't it? They have great visual effects for their magic in both this and in their follow-up game, Age of Reforging. I'm a big fan of uh, Age of Reforging, too. i, I got to get back to that at some point. Um, you know, after one of their major updates, my save file was incompatible, and I just haven't had time to really get back to that. That was a decent amount of money, but something like this is probably better. Yeah, let's get out there. Earn some easy money for the team. We're just continuing to level up our two wizards. They go out, like, every turn and fight somebody. Dominate them with magic. I haven't even checked to see if uh, I could invest more points with them. I should do that. I don't want to fall behind in their skills. Not when I'm relying on them so heavily. Oh my gosh, that... That fire stream just burning everybody at the same time. That was crazy. It seems like audience always wants my enemies to die in this run. I don't I don't know that they've ever said, "Yeah, let them live." Yep. 
craziness. Just going out and taking everybody's money. What do you got? You got herbs, you got herbs, elven wood, and pure iron, huh? Tell you what, I'm going to give you some more stuff to sell. Stuff that I don't want. There you go. Have fun with that. Had to check everybody's health and obedience, of course. 24 silver, not really worth it. 33 silver, though. We like that. Yeah, we could send our people out here. I mean, they're all so beat down, but... It's really not bad. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You know, He'll level after this fight. Looks like he already has level 2, and I just wasn't paying attention. And so we will give you this. I feel like instead of going 1, 2, I'm going to go you know, max this out, then I'll max this out. I think that that's a better way to handle it. Let's go to your class. You're not a defender, huh? We need you to become a defender so that you become better at wearing heavy armor. Get some endurance as well. Just a little bit. Any of these skills that we want to give you? Kind of. Hmm. All right. Kind of lost with uh, Lair Dog because there's, he's going to have so many skills by the end of all this, you know. And let's max out the fire tornadoes. That just seems very cool. Not exactly sure what that's going to... Well, I think I remember what it's going to do from Age of Reforging. Wow, ni neither of my magicians are defenders? i got to train you guys. Hmm. Not really interested in the agility, but could use some more endurance and willpower. Paulus, you probably have quite a few points to spend. You're a gladiator, that's right. I can give you a lot of strength. Kind of seems like that's the best option, too. And fortune. What was I doing with you? I'm trying to get you more intelligence, obviously, but for what? To res people, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. Well, you're getting close. We're going to do that. And I think that's about it. We're going to wait one level, otherwise, and we'll start that fight off. Theodore, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've, I'm sending people out who know magic. I just... You should just hand over your money. And I keep killing everybody, too. Again, you should not be fighting me. I am sending out a true psycho team. You guys haven't even seen my fiery tornadoes yet. Oh my goodness. That rain of icicles was sick. That was so sick. Now, here's the thing. As I noted in Age of Reforging, when I challenged the Blackthorn Arena. Um, if you get CC'd, 
you can still get murdered by a champion very quickly. You know, it's it's very easy to get killed by a big dog. Something something to keep in mind. We're gonna send out. Can I not send out uh, Hollis? Is is he too injured? Well, he's going out anyways. We're gonna send you guys out on this blue caravan. And when you come back, then I will go to the store. Because you're going to need to heal then. I don't care about what that guy's got. Caravans are so good for money, though. Mmm! Wow! Okay, that fire tornado was pretty sick. Uh, had Looks like some kind of animation weirdness there at one point, but it was still pretty sick. It did huge damage, I think. Good god. Wow. Hollis, you're disabled, no doubt. I keep sending you out, and you get attacked. That Iron Trident, very great weapon. Amazing weapon, actually. Um, I don't think I recorded the run where I figured out the right build for pole arms, but oh my goodness. Yeah, that Iron Trident is just an, just an amazing weapon. Alright, everybody get in here and heal. Lair Dog, I know you, you just leveled, but I want to give you these experience potions. That's only a thousand experience, it won't be enough for you to level again. So maybe I'll hold off and think more strategically. Okay, just keep leveling up our frostiness. Go back to class. Uh, da, 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 da. Endurance and willpower, we need that. Because eventually they will become defenders. Just not right this second. And I'm already invited to the spring game, so it's not like I have to go nuts trying to look for fights. There. Easy. Hollis and Fortune, I do not care to level you up right now. Instead, we are going to the market. We're going to sell off anything that we've won recently that we don't want, including the halberd and the trident. We should sell off the um, other crafting materials if we're not going to get a blacksmith, because we need to make a decision on that pretty soon. If we want to be able to craft stuff late game, you really have to keep up with blacksmithing if you want to use it. Old ruby amulet. Hmm. I mean, another iron belt would be great, too. We should get that. I'm not so worried about amulets right now. The slave market, man, should... Maybe... I'm going to look to see if we can get a level 3 forge individual here. I see a level 1. I do not want a level 1. Take so long to level up blacksmithing. Forge one, no. Forge two, not good enough. Nothing here. Elite warrior helmet, okay. Hmm. I'm not really uh, trying to do insane melee damage. I think we... Do we know the recipe for the large experience potion already? No. No, we don't. But we're gonna buy it. And then we're going to the Pirate's Bay Market. We have a lot of money. Okay, no amazing forge individuals. 
no veteran armor. Well, that's too bad. We're going to get some expensive herbs at the very least. I think that's it. Lizard skin. I know you're used in recipes later on, but we can pick that up from dungeons. Use that for some of the epic medium armor. Monster Hunter, I think? I believe. Hey, you gotta research. Can you craft anything worth uh, using right now? Goblin's blood I need for that. I can do potions, health potions. Huh. Don't need to do that right now. Instead, I would prefer to send... What if I sent... Two teams, you know? What if I sent two teams out with the caravans? One team... Per magician. Took me a long time to get that out. Uh, actually, Fortune, since you're the healer, I want you to go with Lair Dog. And then Hollis can go with Hair Furlough. How many days left? Three days left? Okay. Oh, I should have dispatched here. It's going to take up two turns, that's why. I'm just thinking about that. I could send... Oh, man. Hmm. Just thinking about what I could do. Well, we'll do it this way. We've already made our bed. We may as well lie in it. No, we're not going to accept your challenge. We don't care about you. You're weak. Start the attack. Look at this guy. He's getting beat down because he's not magical. No, we're not going to die. We have fire. I'll spare you today because I don't want to chase you down. Nice. Cool, we got uh, an unarmed weapon as well, the Qatar. I call it a Qatar, some people call it Catter, I don't know what it is. Qatar makes more sense to me, but, you know, teach their own. Fortune, you gotta heal up, buddy. Isn't that your, your whole deal? Well, now you're down. Uh-oh. Lair Dog, you gotta... You gotta use your magic. Let him know, man. Oh no! Oh no. That's terrible news. Well, truly unfortunate. But at least we've got a wizard who can go out and. One wizard who can go out and kill people fairly easily. I never put that belt onto Lair Dog. I'm not going to say that's what turned the fight. Just an observation. Level up, Lair Dog. There you go. Something about this one seems, um, you know, better. This one, I don't know, this seems like a blizzard kind of ability. I say that based on really nothing, but I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Take them or leave them. I could level this guy up right now, but what would he do next? I think now is when I would begin investing in defender traits. Do I send you in to just start training as a defender now? I think it's time. Oh my goodness, eight turns is brutal.
look at everybody's obedience. They're still very obedient. It's just that we're not earning any money for a few turns while they're farting around. Healing, as they like to pretend. We're going to sell that even though someone on our team could use it. Because if you're not the best on this team, you're the worst. And you don't get anything. That's how it works. I think Fortune and Hollis will go together. Lairdog will be on his own side. He's got to try to redeem himself after that embarrassing debacle. You know, you can't, you can't allow the fireman to destroy whole countries by himself while you get beat down. That, that's not right. Alright. Small morale potion recipe. Not the greatest, but not nothing. There we go. Give him that war roar. Let him know. How's uh, Lair Dog doing? Uh oh. You better get over there and help Paulus, man. I think he's gonna die. Well, he got knocked down, but he didn't die. Well, Fortune got knocked down too. Lair Dog, you. Oh no, why are you attacking the merchant? How embarrassing. I like that he's got some kind of ice sword attack there that does AoE damage. Now, he does seem to be stuck in the bushes as a result of uh, going on this fight, or going after this merchant and this guard, but as long as he's the last guard, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm not super impressed with Lairdog's damage, but... I, what are you going to do, you know? He's already Mr. Ice Wizard. <laughs> These two just got beat down. Everyone's waiting for Hair Furlough to finish his defender training. This team really relies on him. Good for you guys. We're so close to Hair Furlough being done with his training. Everyone should celebrate that. Lairdog, can you go out and win like a 2v1? I think you could. Should you have to? That's, that's a different question. Let's send you out to win the 2v1. After we level you up. We need to be smart with Lair Dog, seeing as how he did lose a fight. Okay. And this is going to be the last fight for this episode because we are running out of time. Maybe we'll do an over the shoulder. Turned that guy into ice and then got knocked down. Uh oh. Uh oh, Lair Dog. You know what? We're gonna yield because I don't want to see you die, man. That ice magic is just not the same as the fire magic, if I'm being honest with you.
Hmm. Northerner's Plate Helmet, not bad. How about we just take the Rare Herbs for now? Estoc is a really great two-hand sword, if I am remembering right. It does have 15% um, penetration. He's not very upset, which is surprising because um, usually you expect your team to be pretty upset when they're losing fights. If anyone needs that sword, it's Lairdog, because he's a loser right now. You gotta stop being a loser, Lairdog. Yikes, man. Hair furlough, though. So great to have you back in the fight. Anyways, that'll be the end of this episode, and we will pick up, I think, right here for the next. I think I'll just continue recording in a second, so... Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.